bites. I'm about to tear this up with some salad and some good old Frank's red hot hot sauce. It is going down. Peace. Hello and welcome back from House to Homes with Nedra. In today's episode, I will be preparing salmon bites. These are the lovely ingredients that I have. I have smoked paprika, I have fish fry, yellow mustard, and two salmon fillets. I have already taken the skin off of one and I'm gonna show you how to take the skin off the other one. What I do is, I just come over here, just pull it back just a little bit so that you don't tear the meat. Just pull it just like that. So you don't pull the meat. Just take your time. It will come off. And if you like the skin on yours, you can leave it on there. But I prefer to take mine off. So I just pull it back just like that. Take your time and go slow. And you see how that is uh, coming off? Just take your time. And here is the skin. Okay. Put it in this bag here. And now I'm going to cut my salmon in bites or in strips. So I'm going to make mine about this length here. That's how I want mine. You cut yours the way you want yours. And I'm going to cut this little piece off because I'm not satisfied with how that's looking. So that's got to go. Okay. This is how I want my salmon bites. You can do yours, cut yours the way you like. But I like mine cut like this. Okay. That's how I'm going to do mine today. Well, maybe I'll cut that in half. The longer ones. Cut them in half. Oh, that's good right there. I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is take my fish and rinse it off just a little bit and towel pat it dry some. What I did, I put this board in this water here. Give my hands a rinse. And I will be frying my bites in some vegetable oil. You can use whatever kind of oil you like. So I'm gonna get this ready. the paper towel and just towel pet your, your fish dry a little bit so you don't have so much water in there just like that take your, your napkins and do that just to get some of that water and I just usually just put everything in that bag like that How y'all doing today? Hope everyone is doing well and having a wonderful day. It's another rainy day here in Georgia. Okay, so that's good. So now what I'm going to do is take the mustard. That's going to help to coat the breading for the fish. Uh-oh. Look at the mess. Hold on. Okay. 
You want to clean up as you go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just massage that mustard into this fish. That's all. You don't need any seasoning because the, the fish fry has all the seasoning in it for you. If you try to add anything else, your fish is going to be salty. And if you don't want the already seasoned mix, you can get it unseasoned and then you can season your fish the way you like. I'm just going to add a little paprika. Just for to add a little color. And that's it. That's all I need on my fish. I don't know what you need on yours. But all I'm going to use is mustard. Mustard and this fish fry right here. That's it. That is it. Okay, put a little bit more paprika, and that's it. See how easy that was? And these are going to be really good and tasty. And I'm going to make a tossed salad to go along with it. You guys don't need to see me make that. You know how to make a salad already. And I believe I have come up with a name for you guys. My nickname. They say I used to say this all the time when I was a kid, and they still bother me to this day with that name. So I think I'm going to call you guys my Goo Goos. What you think? My Goo Goos. You know, it took me a long, long time to accept that nickname. But you know what? It has followed me all the way through my life. They will not just let me get rid of that name. So I'm going to call you guys my Goo Goos. Hey, my Goo Goos. What y'all think about my shirt today? Yeah. I'm in a good mood today. Hey, I'm not letting nobody steal my joy. And I'm going to continue to push through with these videos. You see, I got me a little microphone. I want to order me a little stand with a ring light. So I'm getting there. I'm trying to perfect it and get better. Let me wash my hands right quick. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what they what your nickname was growing up. Put it down in the comments below. Also, let me know what kind of fish you guys like to fry. I would have cooked this in the air fryer, but the air fryer doesn't crisp it up for me like I like it. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple of pieces of fish in this bag. Okay, about that much. I have this uh, board soaking in bleach. bleach. Okay, so I want to hear y'all now. You got that going and you're going to be using it again for something. It's soaking in bleach. Okay. I'm not trying to get salmonella or anything like that. So we're soaking in bleach water for right now. Okay, so I have a little freezer bag with the batter in it. Just going to toss it around like that. And pretty much now we're just waiting on the grease to get hot. And to drop these little nuggets in there. That wasn't too bad, was it? And like I said, if you like the skin on your salmon, leave it on there. But I don't, I don't care for the skin, so I just pull it off. And if you cook salmon in your air fryer and you don't want to batter it, leave the skin on. It cooks better that way when you're just baking it or something. And when you're frying it, the skin needs to come off. For me, it does. I don't know about you. Okay, let's see if this uh, grease is hot. Just gonna get me a little dab of water. Let's see, oh yeah, it is hot and ready for us to go. You hear that? Oh yeah, it is red tag. Ready for it. You need to drop these nuggets right to here. Okay, and make sure you don't overcrowd your pan. Because if you do, your stuff won't be crispy and it won't cook right. So I'm going to put about three bites in there. 
or maybe four. I can get four in there. And just leave it alone, and when it floats up to the top, it's pretty much ready. I'm going to put these little couple of bites in there. Clean up the dishes a little bit. Well, I'm going to my brother-in-law's house for Thanksgiving dinner. And I was thinking about maybe making me some dressing and putting it in the freezer. Because, you know, when you come back, you always want something to eat the next day. So I think I would, would make a small pan of dressing to have on hand for myself when I come back. So I rinse these dishes. Now I'm going to put them in the, the dishwasher. Washer. You know, that's kind of crazy to have a dishwasher and you wash the dishes, wash them on your hands, and then you still wind up putting them in the dishwasher. At least I know they'll be real clean. Okay. What y'all have on y'all menu today to cook? Let me know if y'all can hear me pretty good with this new bike I have on. Or is it about the same? Let me know what you think. I thought I was going to get the opportunity yesterday to meet uh, Shaquille O'Neal because he was uh, at my church. They were passing out turkeys, but I did not have the opportunity to meet him. I think he just made a donation and was not there. But maybe one day I'll be able to run into him, huh? We'll see. And if I do, I'll be sure to post that video. Okay, what I'm going to do is put this mustard in the refrigerator. Put that back. Do, you, do you keep your mustard in the refrigerator? Where do you keep your mustard at? And I only use half of this chicken, this fish fry. You don't need to use the whole bag. So half is enough. And then just seal it back up for the next time. That's all you need. And this is my trash here from the uh, salmon. And what I'm going to do, I put this in the freezer until I get ready to take the garbage out so that my garbage is not stinking. I don't know what you do, but this is what I do. I put it in the freezer until I'm ready to take it out so that it's not stinking up the house. And I will be taking that out tomorrow. Let me know what you want to see me cook next. I'm thinking one day I might do some uh, ribs in the oven because I really don't feel like being bothered with the barbecue grill. And they usually come out pretty good. Only thing is, is if you're just missing the smoke. But I have some liquid smoke, so I'm going to try it with that and see how it comes out. But usually they're pretty good, just good and tender. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do my dress and I'm going to make some cornbread one day this week. Get that together and um, put it in the freezer. I also have some sweet potatoes in there that I'm going to cut up and parboil a little bit and put them in the freezer so they don't go bad. Um, yeah. So it's going to be a good time. I didn't know, I didn't realize Thanksgiving was next week. The time this month is just about over with. You know, went really quick. Hey. My little dog is back there having a fit because he's trying to come in the kitchen with me. And he know the kitchen is off limits to him. So he can act a fool all he wants to. He'll be all right. 
Do y'all have a little dog? And if so, what kind of dog do you have? I have a little Chihuahua mixed with Jack Russell. He found me. I didn't find him. I was sitting in the dining room one day and I saw something walk past and I'm like, what is that on my porch? I know it ain't what I think it is. So I sat there and it walked past again and I went out there and it was a little dog. He was about uh, three months old. Cute little baby. So I uh, got a little box, put him in a little box. I gave him some milk and some hot dogs. The next day, I took him, you know, riding around the neighborhood to see if anybody was missing a dog. Nobody was missing the dog. Then I took him to PetSmart to see if he had a chip. He didn't have a chip. Then I took him over there to the shelter, and they said if he didn't get a doctor, they was going to put him to sleep. So I brought him back home with me. So he's been here ever since. He's done and had him now since 2018. And he's spoiled, and he don't look like he's going anywhere. No time soon. He's in now. But he started outside in the box, then he made his way to the garage, then he made his way in the house. So he's been here ever since. All right. These, these salmon bites are looking pretty good. Let me bring y'all over here so y'all can see, see what these salmon bites are looking like. Well, maybe I'll bring them over here to you guys. Let me, let me see. Uh-oh, I'm moving y'all, so. I'm moving you guys. Hold on, let me see how I can do this without messing up anything. Y'all see these salmon bites here? Whoa, uh-oh. I didn't do that right. Got the wrong utensil trying to give them out. Can y'all see that? This is how they're looking so far. What you think? And make sure when you're draining them, get you a little rack. So they can truly drain. Because once you put them on that paper towel, it makes them soggy. So you need to have them on a little rack. So I'm going to drop the rest of them in the grease. Hopefully I didn't bore you guys too much today. Like I said, this is a learning curve for me. And I know in time, I will get better and better. So just don't give up on me. Just keep on watching. And stay tuned. Okay, so I have the last of the uh, salmon bites in there. So those are going to cook up for about five minutes, and then that's it. Let me got, bring you guys back over here. Uh-oh. Sorry about that. Sorry. So that wasn't too bad. Didn't take me that long. So rinse my hands off again. Now you can save that batter if you want to for the next time, but I just usually just toss it. Because I don't know, because I don't cook fish that often. And I don't want it to be just sitting around. So if you cook fish on a regular, you might want to keep it. But I'm going to toss mine. But that is pretty much it right there. How y'all like my little hot chocolate bar I got set up over here? I'm going to go and get a few other things. I got a little Christmas tree sitting up here too with lights on it. I'll put one on the other side as well. What y'all think about my little Christmas tree, my little hot chocolate bar over there? And then this side... Over here is going to be my my uh, coffee bar over there. So I'm working on it. Little by little. 
trying to get me some projects together to show you guys. I'm excited. I'm getting ready to uh, redo uh, two side tables. I think I'm going to try some uh, rural blue maybe and gray. Maybe paint the room a dark gray or light gray or something. I haven't really decided, but I've been looking at the rural blue to, to paint the uh, two side tables. Let me know what you think about me painting the two end tattoo side tables a, a rural blue. I think it looks pretty. Let me know what you think or any colors you suggest that I should paint them. But I know that the room is going to be some type of gray color. I know that. I don't know if it's going to be two-tone, a light gray, or dark gray. I haven't made up my mind yet about that, but it's coming soon. Let me turn this light out here. You know, when you're cooking, you get hot. I know I do. Be having my own little private sauce. But uh, like I said, you can cook the salmon in the air fryer, but it won't get it as crisp as I like it. But it is good in there, but it's just be like a soft texture, not a crunch. And I like mass with the, with the crunch. I'm not going to keep you guys, but thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next episode. Everyone have a wonderful day. And peace out. Bye now.